right, so I'm here with Dad today, and we are going to be hand making a stand for horns we have laying around. So he made a really cool one the other day. Turned out really awesome. So we're gonna make one for me now. And so I got some, you know, some bucks that didn't make it quite to the wall, but you know, some uh, <clears throat> some ones that, you know, you got laying around. We got some extra bucks here. So um, excited about it. And uh, yeah, I figured we'd uh, show what we did today because maybe you guys want to try it too. So it'll be fun. All right, so we got two two by eights here that we cut down and they're 16 inches and then total is gonna be 15 wide. Um, so now we're gonna take some, uh, some extra pallet wood that we have laying around and uh, we're gonna um, rip them down and uh, go ahead and trim out the outside and that will be our base. The reason we're using these is because they're heavy. So when we put the fence post on it, it won't tip over. All right, so we just, uh, on the table saw, we just cut 45 degree angles on all of these uh, outside boards. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna kind of lay it out and then every corner will have a 45 on it. All right, we got all the sides on here. Uh, it's, uh, it's made, so the whole base is ready. We're gonna quick grab the sander here, run it around real quick. Uh, all we did is we used just a uh, staple gun. We cut everything on a 45 degree angle so it fits in real nice and uh, then the post will come up from here. This base is gonna look really cool. We're gonna put, uh, um, I'll explain it in a little while, but we're gonna put <laughs> some cool uh, foliage down here with the post. So uh, I found, uh, well, I didn't find my fiance uh, and uh, my stepson found a, uh, uh, a deadhead this year while we were shed hunting. So that's gonna go at the bottom of this. So it's gonna be pretty cool when it's done. So uh, now we'll show you the rest that we're gonna do. All right, so dad's putting in the, the rest of these uh, L brackets here. Uh, we got this old, uh, this fence post actually, and uh, dad picked it up from Menards. Yep. Yep, Menards, and then it's, we cut uh, it down. Yeah, it's cedar split rail fencing. Yep, so we got it because it's kind of got these, these cool waves in here. You can see from the side, it's got these cool waves. And then uh, we just took some L brackets and put it to the base and uh, measure it halfway in between. And then obviously <clears throat> that's where we put our brackets. And now this will all be covered up by foliage so that all brackets don't matter. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, a good tip for anyone putting uh, a knit or uh, screws into this, uh, this cedar, um, just snug it and don't tighten it super tight because it'll strip because uh, it's a real soft wood. So, but anyways, now when that sets on the ground, this will be pretty cool once it's uh, put together. All right, the next phase of the project is to put stain on it to give it this fence post a weathered look. So you want to stain it, but then you want to wipe off the stain so that you can see the, the wood grain in there. We're using uh, gray. Yep. I mean, you can kind of use what you want. It's but. weathered gray. We're trying to replicate a fence post that's been out in the field for who knows how many years. We don't want a brand new look. It's just the look we're going for. Although the cedar post, if you just clear coated it, would look beautiful as well. So it's whatever you're looking for. So we just uh, took the, uh, the skulls uh, or separated the horns uh, from the skulls and uh, we sanded the bottoms just a little bit and now we're going to take these, uh, these kits, Skullmaster kits, uh, they come in three different sizes, small, medium and large and uh, obviously we're dealing with some uh, average uh, books <clears throat> so we went with the medium and uh, yeah it's pretty cool they're, uh, they're just kits you can get uh, online and uh, that's what we're using to uh, put these on, uh, on our stand.
All right, well, we've been out here for a little while, and uh, we got all the we got all the bucks uh, on their forms, and uh, you have to drill holes, and then we uh, um, put them together, and they turned out pretty good. Fill all the seams with white kitchen caulk. Yep. So, yeah, it uh, ends up looking pretty good and seamless, and then sure does. they hang from the back like that. So we're going to let those dry for the night, and uh, we got the... Uh, the base built here, we also put caulker on the edges, uh, so when we put the stuff down, it doesn't seep down uh, in the cracks, so um, we're going to let this dry for the night, but uh, we're good for today. I'm going to end up probably doing the foliage and everything myself tomorrow, but for the most part, uh, we did what we could tonight, so uh, yeah, pretty pumped for it. We'll, uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow. All right, so I'm finishing my project today. Uh, unfortunately, Dad is not here tonight, but I'm going to wrap it up uh, and uh, show you guys what I've got uh, going on here. So this is the uh, um, this is the deadhead as we were shed hunting uh, this fall that my uh, fiance um, and my uh, soon-to-be stepson uh, found, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, I got the rest of my horns uh, here in the box, and uh, now I'm going to put on the uh, foliage. And the, the goal uh, is to actually form uh, the foliage around this to make it look like it was still in the ground. Um, so pretty excited. Uh, it'll be a fun little project, but uh, here we go. All right, so I just used, uh, as you can see, I used uh, a bunch of this foam, uh, these foam pieces in my uh, hot glue gun and uh, just cut it all down. And now I have it kind of looking like uh, it's all hot glued down. Uh, I kind of have it so it uh, is looking like it uh, was somewhat buried, um, which is kind of cool because now I'll put the uh, dirt uh, dirt mixture around it. Um, you're gonna mix uh, Elmer's glue um, and coffee grounds uh, together. And uh, it's one part glue, one part water, and then you mix in the coffee grounds. And it ends up, when you put it on here, it ends up looking like dirt, so. Um, excited for the turnout. We're going to uh, mix it now and see what happens. All right, so I got the base done here. Kind of cool. All the dirt come out pretty cool. It's going to take a while to dry now, but uh, yeah, for the most part, it kind of looks like the uh, skull has been uh, um, buried in the dirt. Kind of cool. I put some dirt uh, over top of the horn here. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy with it. All right, now I got some uh, some uh, sticks here that I'm, uh, um, because underneath all this uh, uh, dirt, AKA coffee, um, <clears throat> there's styrofoam. So now I can uh, I can take some of these, uh, um, these pieces that I have here and stick them down through into the styrofoam and uh, <clears throat> make, it, uh, make it stick and it looks like a, uh, Looks like we got a ground here. So you can get these at uh, your local Hobby Lobby, something like that. Uh, that's where these are from here. All right, I finished my base up. So obviously you've seen that I uh, uh, kind of buried this uh, deadhead. Um, turned out pretty sweet. Pretty excited about it. I put some foliage around it and uh, stuck all that in there. Kind of looks like it's uh, still buried in uh, this old fence post. And uh, hi. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty excited about it. And then uh, I got three of my uh, uh, skulls up top here, uh, European mounts. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the, the other one right here. And then I got some old barbed wire that will kind of uh, entangle it. Uh, but it's just kind of a cool way uh, to uh, display some uh, deer that didn't make the wall and uh, yeah, hope you guys liked it uh, Maybe you guys can make your own and uh, send us uh, Send us what your uh, what yours looks like. So yeah, pretty cool